Hello grade sixes. Hopefully you guys are doing good. Uh, I'm gonna be going over area today. Okay, area of a rectangle. Um, so perimeter is all about the outerior. Okay, whereas area is the interior. Okay, so there's gonna be a formula that obviously shows how to do this quicker. But here what we're asking is what is the area of this rectangle? So what the area is, guys, is each of these represents a square, okay, represents one centimeter, let's say, okay. So what I'm saying here is 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, 23, 24. So here, my area is 24 centimeters, okay, and because it's a square, we're going to put a squared here, okay. What that basically means is that each centimeter is a square, okay, and we have 24 here, all right? So when I say perimeter, here what I would get is, let's say these are all 1, so 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. 1, 2, 3, 4. 1, 2, 3, 4, and 6. So the perimeter here would be 6 plus 6 plus 4 plus 4. P equals 12 plus 4 is 16, 20, okay? So here, my perimeter is the outerior, okay? So if you're building a house, the outerior, and it's 20 centimeters. And now the interior, okay? What we did was we did the length times the width, okay? And you're going to learn more about this. So the length here is 6, and the width is 4. So 6 times 4 is... 24 centimeters squared. Okay, now we're going to dabble into this a bit more. Here we go. <clears throat> so as stated above, okay, we can find a shortcut for calculating the area of a rectangle. So we could make squares of one centimeter, and you know what? You could do that for sure, okay? However, here, what I'm doing instead is, okay, they've made 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12. So what they've said is the, the length is 12 centimeters. There's 12 squares that make up that length, okay? So it says here, the length tells how many one centimeter squares fit doing it. The length is 12 centimeters, so 12 one centimeter squares fit doing the length. Lovely. Now we're gonna measure the width of the rectangle. One, two, three, four, five, six, okay? Six squares of one centimeter equals our width. So it says here, the width tells how many rows of one centimeter squares fit in the rectangle. The width is six centimeters, so there are six rows. So another way of looking at it, guys, is a table almost, okay? Here you have 12 columns, and here you have six rows, all right? Columns and rows. Okay, remember, columns go this way, and rows are this way, okay? So, to find how many one centimeter squares fit in the rectangle, we multiply the length of a row by the number of the rows, okay? So here it says multiply the length by the width, okay? And that's the big thing here is our formula is area equals L times W. So here we did 12 times 6, okay, because that's our thing. So we got 72 centimeters squared, remember the squared there, is my area of the rectangle. So as, oh, sorry, as written below, okay, we can write this rule to find the area of a rectangle. Multiply the length times the width. It can be expressed as a formula. So the other day you learned the formula's perimeter is 4L, okay, or 2L plus 2S, okay? Well, now you're gonna add another formula to that list. It's area equals length times width, okay? It says here, we use A to represent area, L to represent length, and W to represent width, okay? So here, it's kind of small, but this is L, okay? I, I like doing it like that. You can do it whatever way. And then this is W, okay? Notice how this has two lines and this has two lines. These are congruent. They're the same, okay? Now there's one line here and one line here. That is the width, okay? So let's say I had eight centimeters here and four here, okay? Okay? Well, the perimeter would be P equals 2 and brackets 8 plus 2 brackets 4. And we'd get 16 plus 8, which is 
24, okay? However, here, that's the perimeter. That's the outerior, okay? We would be building a fence, basically. So now, how do you go into the fence? Okay, well, I'm going to write area equals length times width, and I'm going to get area equals 8 times 4, which is 32 centimeters squared. So what I'm saying here is that each of these squares that's 1 centimeter will make up 32 centimeters. So you can do it with much larger numbers too. Edmund built a dog crate for his dog. The floor of this crate is a rectangle. Okay, so it's right here. All right, we have our rectangle. Sorry. The dimensions of the floor are 80 centimeters and 120 centimeters. So think about it this way. You have a square. Okay, we have the side length is 120 and the width is 80. Okay, so you can use the formula for the area of a rectangle to find the floor area of the crate. So we got area equals length times width. Now we get area equals 120 times 80 and area equals 9600, centimeters squared. Okay, so that's the area. Now, don't get this mixed up with the perimeter. The perimeter would be P equals 2L plus 2S, and it'd be P equals a, uh, 120 times 2, okay, sorry, and it'd be 240 plus 240 plus 160, Okay, so you would get 320 as your perimeter. So what that means is to build the dog crate, you'd need 320 centimeters of, let's say, um, fence, okay? Well now, inside is gonna represent the area. So, couple things guys, think of it as, let's say we have a square now, okay? And you have four centimeters on each. Okay, well, four is one. Okay, this isn't a proper square, but let's say these are all four. Okay, the area is not going to be adding all these four together. Okay, that's the perimeter. So the perimeter here would be 16. The area is taking the length times the width. Well, here, my length is this top one. We have the number four. So I'm going to go A equals four times the width, K okay, is this, and it is four. So area is 16 centimeters squared. So what I wanted to show you guys was that a square, K okay, might have a similar perimeter because you're using the same numbers. So here's a good example of another one, okay? So you have 22 centimeters, so, oh, my bad. Area equals length times width. I want you to get that in your heads, okay? Now, area equals, okay, what's our length? Our length is the top one here, which is 22 centimeters, okay? Now, our width is right here, and it is 10 centimeters, okay? We did not, okay, I'll repeat this, we did not include the 10 centimeters here, the 22 here, because what we're saying is that there should be 22 squares, okay, I'm, I can't draw 22 there, and then 10 here that represent one centimeter, so here we're doing area equals 22 times 10 is 220, okay? And now because we're multiplying these centimeters, guys, we have to go centimeters squared. It is very important that you put the squared there, okay, to represent area, all right? Another question you might be asked, guys, is if you know the area already, okay? So area is length times width, so area, sorry, is 60 centimeters squared, okay? Well, we know our length is 10, but we don't know what our width is. So what you have to do is take your area, divide it by the side length, okay, to find out W now. So W is 6 in this case. So 6 centimeters, okay. It would be the same if we did our uh, other length. So let's say we had 60 centimeters squared again, guys, but we have 6 centimeters here. All right, as the only one we're given. What we can do is 60 divided by 6, okay, or divide by 6 like that, okay, and we'll get equals L, okay. Well, all here is 10 centimeters, okay, because we did 60 divided by 6, so 10 centimeters is right here, okay. That's another example. Now let's say you do it with a square. So you got area equals length times width, okay. 25 centimeters squared equals L times W. 
Okay, we know what our side length is here, so it's 25 centimeters squared equals 5 times W. We'll divide 25 by 5 to get 5, and that'll be W, okay? So the variables make sense, but really what we're trying to do is if we know one, okay, we can figure out the other, and if we don't know the area, we can just do length times width, all right? So like I said, this formula can work for anything, right? So let's say we add eight here and four here, okay? All we're gonna do is area equals length times width, and we're gonna get eight times four, which is area equals 32 centimeters squared, okay? Don't forget your centimeters, all right? The reason why it's squared is because we're basically multiplying the centimeters as well to get 32 centimeters squared. Okay, let's say now instead I gave you L times W and I knew this was 32 centimeters squared and I didn't know the uh, width. Okay, I would go 32 divided by 8 equals 4, so W is 4, which we know is the answer, all right? So uh, that's area, you guys. If you have any questions, message me. And uh, best of luck on the assignment. It's fairly easy. Just remember the big formula, A equals L times W. And then from there, if you know the area, okay, it's going to be A divided by L or W equals the other, okay? Have a great day, guys. See ya.